So to start the SAP systems, you see SAP systems are started status. So stopped status. See, to start the SAP system, right click and just click on the start button. It will ask the SID, ADM, or administrator user ID and password. So just you can provide the password, then the server will be started. So when you are starting, the first yes, yes will start, then the application server will start it here. Then application server process will start automatically here, right? So that is the, the procedure to start the SAP systems. That is the procedure to start the SAP systems here, SAP systems here, right? So SAP starting and stopping procedure here, SAP stopping and starting procedure here, right? So that is the thing we need to check it out, SAP starting and stopping procedure. So SAP start and stop procedure, okay? If it is the Windows systems, if it is the Windows systems, just open the SAP MC management console, then right click on the SID. So then we have the start, stop and restart option. We have the start, stop, restart option here. So that is the one thing we can do it in the Windows systems here. Otherwise, so in the Windows, same. So you can use the same command prompt. You can use it in the command prompt. So in the command prompt here, in the command prompt here, so so in the command prompt, in the command prompt, you can use the SAP start. So there is a command. So in the SAP start dot exe, SAP diag host. So there is a command. So let me show you. So with the SAD ADM user, we have to use it here. SAP start SAP. Yeah. Start SAP dot dot exe in the command prompt space so this uh, space the options we have to provide it so then to start the so to start the so sap systems in the command prompt mode here in the command prompt mode here so if it is the non windows in the linux systems so linux systems definitely there is a command prompt mode there to start the sap system start sap start sap all means everything will be started all the whatever there in the in that host in that host you have the yes yes you have the primary application server everything is done so everything is done so so everything is done so uh, that is so every any, anything like any uh, uh, like uh, either you have the yes yes you have the uh, primary application server you have the secondary application server any application servers are there just if you use the start SAP all, so yeah, start SAP all, so that is start SAP, start SAP, so start SAP all, stop SAP all will work here, yeah, start SAP all, then stop SAP all commands will work to stop the SAP systems and so SAP, SAP systems and everything here, right? So the same time, same time, Suppose if you want to stop it, so only one application server, like suppose like you have the two application servers, you want to only stop the two of one application server, then stop SAP, that application server related instance details, you have to give it stop SAP space and uh, at Linux level, uh, suppose like D01 or D02 or D10. So whatever it may be, you need to give the, so you need to go the all the details here, all the details here, you need to give it here, right? So you need to give the these details, you have to give it in the SAP system here. Start SAP, the start SAP system commands, we can use it command line options so that SAP systems can be stopped and restarted in the, in the systems here, right? So otherwise, we can also use the, we can, otherwise we can also use the SAP control command, SAP control command, we can use it here, SAP control command, especially for the Linux systems here. Windows, it's very, very simple. MMC, right click, stop and start. For the Linux system only, you need to use the commands, start SAP, stop SAP commands, you have to use it. Either you want to start all, then you give all means, yes, yes, and application servers, all. 
So you want to start only application server, then stop SAP, only that application server related or instance details, you have to give it. So suppose like if you want to start only ASCS, then start SAP ASCS, that instance number, you have to give it. Right? These are the command line options. We have to use it for starting and stopping the SAP system. Starting and stopping the SAP systems here. At the same time, in the Linux level or Windows level, we have the SAP control commands. SAP control commands here. Nowadays, in the S4 and S systems, we have to use this SAP control commands for stopping and starting the systems here. Right? Stopping and Starting the system, SAP control command, you have to use it here. So normally, why? Because start SAP, stop SAP commands are going to be decommuted. De uh, like going means deprecated. Deprecated means they are not going to work in the coming S4 and systems in coming years. So SAP recommended to that, don't use the, so uh, no longer used commands like stop SAP, start SAP commands, it won't work. So that's why reason. So there is a, there is a SAP control commands. SAP control commands, we have to use it here. Control commands, we have to use it here. For controlling commands here, we can also, you can start and start the, so commands, so we can also use the, so like SAP control, there is a some commands here, right? Some commands, SAP control, SAP control iPhone NR, SAP control iPhone NR, iPhone NR, space instance number with SID ADM iPhone function. So iPhone function, then then start system iPhone function, then start system, then system will be started. System will be started here. Start system, then stop system. So iPhone start starting the this is the starting the SAP system here. Starting SAP system here. The same command SAP control iPhone NR instance number instance number so then iPhone function these are the commands actually in the Linux level we have to use these commands here so start start means just start so start means this is the so starting the SAP instance starting the SAP instance here starting SAP instance here one entire system will be started I want to only start start means only SAP instance SAP instance will be started here sap instance will be started here sap instance will be started here right for stopping stop system start system stop system stop simple these commands we have to use it here so these commands we have to use it here suppose suppose you want to check the how many processors are running at operating system level all 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 those things here so we can use the we can use the get process list here get process list here which means same command sap control commands only here hyphen get process list here get process list here get get process list which means uh, what are the processor running in the system so get instance list get process list so it will give you the information here it will give you the information in the systems here so starting and stopping the systems using the sap control command sap control command we can use it here sap control commands right so this is the this is the so this is the commands normally we have to use it here this is the command so we have to use it here get process list to check the status here right starting the systems stop system start system right so then so then starting the system, start system, right? So then stop system. So like that, we have to use the so commands like that. So uh, use the commands to start it, stop it. So that is the one we have to use it here. For the instance, stop and start. So these are the normal commands. We have to use it here. Normal commands, we have to use it to troubleshoot the issues and everything here. Okay, so these are the SAP control command. These are the commands it's going to use for everything. Just only you need to change the instance number, right? So Linux level, these are the stop SAP, start SAP commands works, but in the new kernels, it won't work, especially for the S4 and systems, it won't work these commands. In that case, you need to use the this SAP control commands. You can use it for starting, 
suppose like stop then you can use the stop system for stopping for stop Sir, yes uh what is the use of start service command in sap control command solution so that is the only restarting the uh, uh, sap start srv service only sap start srv service suppose you want to sometimes what happens some parameters voice level parameters we need to restart only sap start srv process that time we can use the dedicated sap start srv process to stopping and starting that we can use it so that will okay so yeah thank you uh, hello hello sir so what are the things which are happening in background while starting up the system yeah yeah, yeah. i'm coming so to which that uh, instance will i'm coming to that point only so while using these commands while using these commands the normally in any sap system so while starting while starting the sap systems what will happen here the first of all in your database will be started automatically database will start it in case if not started we need to start the db first right why because sap the bottom layer is the database is the dependency it means basement is the database so database should be started first right db should be started database should be start first right then then after that ASCS instance will be started so then after that so your sap app servers sap app servers will be started means it dispatcher dialogue work process and remaining process will be started so this is the order for starting or if you right click it and start it it will be order 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 wise it will be starting here while stopping here what will happen reverse order reverse order means sap app servers first then ascs instance ascs instance then db db so this is the order of stopping and starting entire system you have to stop it then so database also you need to stop it and ascs everything sometimes people it won't stop the database sometimes people it won't stop the database you want only sap in that case ascs start it start the ascs start the sap application servers so while starting ACS means message server NQ server. These two will be started. SAP application server means dispatcher, ICM, then IGS, then so the uh, SAP the work process will be started. This will be started in the back end. So this will be started in the back end. If you want to go more deep about this one, so what exactly happens in the in this process also here? So here what will happen here? So DB started, ASCS starting, message server, NQ server will be started first. Then after that, dispatcher, dispatcher will bring up the, all the work process, Hello. everything, everything's here. Yes. Hello. Uh, database, we need to start up or it will be if you start have a separate, up. If, if you have a separate database team, DB team will stop it, start it and stop it. So if you don't have database separate team, only we are the responsible for starting and stopping the HANA database and everything. So yes, okay, it's our man. responsibility to start the HANA databases. Okay, R3Trans hyphen D a command we need to use to up the database or it is for the connectivity only? Yes, it is R3Trans hyphen D is only for checking the connectivity to the uh, application server and a database. Okay. Okay, so this is the order you need to follow it here. Sometimes what the people will do is while stopping directly, they will stop the ASCS. So immediately application server will collapse, right? So that's the reason. That is not the recommended approach here. So while starting or stopping, the first thing is here, application servers, we have to stop it completely. Then ASCS, then database, we have to stop it while starting. ASCS, SAP app server, so DTDB, ASCS, SAP app servers, we need to start. This is the order, this is the order we have to follow. This is the order we have to follow do, to do this one here. So SAP control commands, SAP control commands, and also, so Windows very simple actually, only Linux we need to use the commands. Anyhow, you guys are joining the HANA administration side, so that is fine, so you can also use the HANA administration command comments also you can use it here so i so sorry, for, yes. sorry to disturb uh, like uh if the two uh ACS and additional application server are in different are in same post do we need to start them separately or uh, they will automatically start automatically no one you know it won't stop any process if you execute the command only then only it will stop 
Yeah, uh, like uh, we will give the command, right? So it will start both the ACS and the application server. Or uh, depends upon the application. Right? Same host, even though same host. So while starting or stopping, you need to provide the instance number. So if you provide the instance number of the one application server, only that application server will be only stopped. If you have to give the another application server, another application server will be only stopped. So that's why you are giving the argument here. Just like iPhone NR instance number. Each application server, there is a separate instance number, even though if it's there in the same app server, in the same host. So they have the separate uh, thing here, right? So we can use it here, these commands. Sir, we tried with the instance number, even though both the applications are stopping. Both are stopping. Yeah. In your yes, we tried, sir. Where? In, which... in my system, sir, in yes. Oracle database. Is the DB also the same host? Yes, yes, sir. If DB stopping means definitely application server also will stop, right? DB no, stopping. I was stopping I said the control I and NR uh, giving uh, secondary like additional application server instance number, but primary also stopping at the same. Both uh, instance numbers are different, right? Both are in the same. Yes, yes. Zero, zero and zero, two sir, instance numbers. Okay. Might I'm be, giving uh, zero, two only, but zero, zero also stopping at the same time. Maybe there is a different issue. So then it's not uh, actually as per SAP standard, it, it should not stop. So there might be a, some uh, something, some issues. So that you, we have to look at why when you execute this one, that is also stopping the another application server as well. Right, so that is also one thing we need to look at. Or suppose if you see here, if you see here, suppose like S four G ADM, S A D ADM. So, so here what I am doing here. So SAP SAP control iPhone NR. The instance number is the thirty nine. Then iPhone function, iPhone function. Then so get process list get process list here so then it's saying that so process or stopper status stopper status here same if i use start system so it will be started it will start it slowly it will start it slowly here it will start it here so it is starting status here hello it's running status so it will start it all the process will keep on starting here see here it is starting more now all the process are starting more now here so all the process are starting more now here so if i stop it it will be stopped it here it will here instance number is for the only s4g s4g only you are giving so might be sid is the same right so that may be the reason sid is the same right so yes. uh, that may be the reason so now you see we have the hdb is there we have the S4Z is there. I am only dedicatedly giving the 39. It is only starting the 39 instance number related database. It is starting now. Okay. I installed a DB application and the additional house in the same one application. Same IP address might be. Might be, might be. Here it is starting mode now. So same commands you can use it for stopping for stop system also here. For stop also stop system. Then if you use the get process list, so it will give you the, so more again, it's stopped status, stopping, 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 right? So this is the commands in the Linux level, we have to use it. Start SAP, start SAP, all also some, you know, it is useful. So if you stop SAP space, all, all will be stopped. All will be stopped here, right? So that is the one thing. So we should know about this one here, okay? Start SAP. Stop SAP procedures here. Okay. So this is about the starting and stopping the SAP systems. <clears throat> Coming to the our topic. 